In this video, let us understand what is your total revenue, marginal revenue and average revenue. Number one is your total revenue. So what is your total revenue? The revenue that a firm gets for selling a given output is total revenue. Right? See, there are 100 ice creams. Selling price is rupees 50. Then you can calculate your total revenue, which is 100 into 50 is your rupees 5000. Right? So we can say your total revenue is the revenue. that a firm gets by selling a given output. Your output is let's say 10, 20, 30, 40 and this is your price Let's say 10, then 8, then 6, then 5. So you can calculate your total revenue, which is 100, 160, This is how you calculate your total revenue. So this is what your total revenue is. See, you have done. You you are being taught what is marginal. It is from the each additional unit what you get. So your marginal revenue is the additional revenue that you get by selling the additional quantities. So marginal revenue is the change in the total revenue which results from the sale of one more unit of a commodity. In order to calculate the marginal revenue, either change in the total revenue is divided by the change in quantity, which means your marginal revenue is equal to change in total revenue by change in your quantity, or your marginal revenue is calculated by your TR of N, TR of N minus 1. So again, let's take an example output 10, 20, 30. 40, your selling price 10, 8, 6, 5. Your total uh, revenue we can calculate by price into a uh, quantity that is 100, 160, 180, 200. And in the same way, we can calculate your marginal revenue that is 160 minus 100 from but earlier you were selling 10 units now you're selling 20 units from from each additional 10 units how much revenue you have increased the 60 then 180 to 160 you have increased 20 then 200 from 180 is 20 so this is your marginal revenue the additional revenue you get by selling each additional unit of output so marginal revenue is the change in the total output on account of the sale of one more unit of the output your tier is the submission of MR which means you keep on adding, you will get your TR. That is 100 plus 60, 160, 160 plus 20, 180, 180 plus 20, 200. So this is the another formula we have derived. The third we have is the average revenue. Revenue from per unit of output is your average revenue. Let us see with the help of same example output that was your 10, 20, 30, 
50 and 40. Your price that was your 10, 8, 6 and 5. So your total revenue will be 100, 160, 180 and your 200. So from this you can find out your average revenue means per unit of output. 100 by 10. Your formula is TR by Q is 10. Sorry, 10. This is 10, right? 160 by 20, you have 8. 180 by 30, you have 6. 200 by 5, you have 40. So, from this, we can analyze that your AR is equal to the price. See how you find your TR. TR is equal to price into my output. How you find your AR? AR is equal to TR divided by Q. Right? So you can also say AR into Q is equal to your total revenue. Right? So this is your first equation. This is your second equation. By substituting first equation into second equation, you get the equation TR is equal to price into quantity is equal to AR into quantity. You can cancel the quantity by quantity. So with this you get your average revenue is equal to your price right so this is the average revenue so your average revenue it is the per unit of revenue received from the sale of a commodity It is the same as price of the commodity. Right? From this we have analyzed that your AR is equal to your price. And we have proved that how your AR is equal to your price. With this we complete your video in which you have understood your total revenue, your marginal revenue and your average revenue. I hope you like the video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.